Well, it all started shortly after World War II. Uh, my grandfather, who was living in New England at that time, uh, was made aware of a government auction of surplus land uh, after the war and uh, put a bid in through a broker, uh, thought he was buying property in Pembroke Pines of all things, uh, ended up owning the land that we do uh, in Miramar, the first part of it. Uh, then he and my father accumulated more land over time, uh, which later became the larger holdings. It was my dad who in the 1980s perceived that there could be a market for a business park uh, at the county line. Uh, so Jim Goggins and he went to the city and were able to get the zoning. Uh, and then that later became uh, the Miramar Park of Commerce. Ed got a vision about Miramar and the rest of the South Florida community was wearing bifocals. I used that line over and over again, told it to anybody who would listen. And in fact, one day somebody did. We concluded a deal with Gannett Publishing for a regional publishing facility. We built a building for Keebler Cookie. Uh, Andy, in fact, graduated from college, jumped on board, and we were off to the races. What my dad perceived was that it was close to Dade County, uh, which would be very good because you could still have the labor force coming up from Dade County. You could still distribute uh, down to Dade County, a uh, wonderful place to to live as well, because uh, you could have your job in Dade County. Uh, at the same time, though, it had the advantages of being in Broward County, uh, so felt it was a terrific location, uh, both for business uh, and also for residential. I describe Ed as being the quarterback of Miramar. He has never held an elected position, but he's worked closely uh, with the city council and other city officials and the citizens of Miramar to create what has to be one of the most diverse and dynamic communities uh, in all of America. Uh, my dad also worked very heavily uh, with our attorney, uh, Alan Millage. Uh, we were instrumental in getting the Turnpike Interchange at Red Road. Uh, in fact, my father and our company uh, guaranteed the toll revenue uh, to see that that was built. I had the opportunity as governor to announce the, the interchange at Red Road and the Turnpike, uh, which has become an important part of the transportation uh, system, which is one of Miramar and the park's uh, great uh, assets. My dad has always been uh, someone who feels that we should give back to the community. Uh, so we have the Anson Park, uh, where the school's done a terrific job. Uh, I know particularly Vernon Hargrave was spearheaded uh, the track, which is there, which is great, uh, and the other facilities. Uh, we're also involved with the Anson Arts Complex at the city center. Uh, both of them are named after my grandfather, Sidney, who I spoke of, uh, as well as his wife, my grandmother, uh, Sophie. Thank you for your new home. Congratulations. Thank you. My father, the Anson Foundation, and Channel 7 uh, have all been very involved uh, with Habitat for Humanity. Ed Anson has been committed to Habitat for Humanity for 27 years, both in Dade County and in Broward County. He's built homes in the city of Miramar itself, and he has built those homes with funding from WSVN and the Miramar Park of Commerce. And not only has he funded those homes, but the employees of WSVN and the Miramar Park of Commerce have come out and actually helped build those homes. And we're going to build a new home this year with financial support from Ed Anson, and we hope some more people from the Miramar Park of Commerce and WSVN. Dad, congratulations for this recognition from the city of Miramar. Uh, very well deserved. Uh, for all your decades of hard work and turning what was once cow pasture to now a thriving business and a residential community. Uh, well done, Dad. I uh, look forward to continuing in your footsteps.